Morning, everyone, and welcome to my preview show for the men's Paris Roubaix. I'll take you through the route, where I'll be watching the race, the weather, start list of favourites, and then making my predictions. The weather forecast is looking exactly the same for the men's as it is the women's on the day before, maybe a little bit cooler. Um, but it'll be dry and it'll be dusty. Um, the route wise, it's the pretty much just the classic route of the last few years. First sector is Trois-Ville, and then they've got 29 sectors after that before finishing in the Roubaix Velodrome. Um, where we'll be watching the race, uh, we've not quite decided yet. But it looks likely that we're going to try four sectors. Uh, first sector, so sector 30. And then we're going to head to Holby, so sector 20, the sector before the Arenberg. Mouson Pavel, we've done the Holby Mouson Pavel loop before, duo before, and then finishing in Grusson yet again. Uh, timings of them is going to be tight, particularly for the final sector. So we'll hopefully make it to all four sectors and I can bring you some footage from them as well. So let's look at the favourites now to win the race and I think we can look no further than the Dutchman, the Deronda winner Mathieu van der Poel. I think he is highly likely to double up. He, we saw how good he was last year. And how strong he was at Roubaix, despite recently coming back from a back in issue. Now I think he is the outstanding favourite. Uh, other favourites, Yama Visma come with a strong team. They will likely support Christophe Laporte, but then Wout van Aert, you can never write him off, despite recently coming back from COVID. Quick step, we'll look to Casper Askreen to... Um, well, give their classics campaign some light. They also have Yves Lampard, who on his day could challenge for the win. Bahrain will be backing Matej Mohoric, but I expect Fred Wright to probably be their go-to man for the top result. Ineos have a strong team, as we know, they've just won Amstel and finished on the podium of Deronda and won Brabant's to Pale as well. Um, they'll have a mixed bag, Ben Turner, Dylan Von Vala, Magnus Sheffield, Luke Rowe, Mikhail Kwiatkowski and Filippo Ganna all probably be given their chance to compete for the win. Out of them, I'd probably go for Ganna as their big favourite. As you deserve, obviously have Van Avrama and Oliver Narsen, but again, like Quickstep, they've struggled. Trek, Jasper Sturven and Mads Pedersen. Uh, FDJ will be behind Stefan Kung after a fantastic classics campaign. <sighs> Other favourites or outsiders, you've got Niels Pollitt, who will look to rediscover that form that saw in podium a few years ago. Previous winner, John Degen Cobb. On a fast course can never be written out. Uh, but overall, those are probably the favourites. Outsiders, maybe Connor Swift, if the race is ridden similar to the way Matt Heyman won in 2016. So there we have the route, the riders, the weather, and where we'll be watching the race. Now it's time to make my prediction. And... I think I'm going to have to go with the, the man, the Dutchman to do the double, Mathieu van der Poel. Um, I don't see anyone being able to drop him, even Ganna on the cobbles or on the road sections, and he will win the sprint. If I was to choose a surprise, I think it would probably be Ganna. Um, but then also Magnus Sheffield is clearly in the form of his life. 
So thank you for watching the preview show for the men's and the women's Paris Roubaix. I will join you again for the conclusions of the races and a review of the classic season as a whole before looking ahead to the Ardennes with Fletch Willow and Liège Bastogne-Liège.